moves all nice and shiny and smooth and makes it look just really cool. Oh yeah, let's do this. Alright, so we're going to take this polyurethane and we're going to put it on some boards, so look at that. That stuff is like so perfect to do this all day. But realistically, it's kind of boring, so I didn't stir it as much as I should have. The last can I had got all goopy, so this time I'm trying to just dip a little bit out at a time, put it in a cup. That way we can seal off the can. Alright, here's our boards. They're kind of plain. I'm doing a couple of different colors here. We had some stained ones the other day. Here we're going to do some without any stain at all. We're just going to put the clear coat polyurethane on it. And that way when we put it up on the wall, we're going to have some contrasting light and dark, dark and light. Not only that, but I think this looks just as cool as staining too. And these boards are going to shine. You get to see the natural wood grain. Put it in a little cup. Dip it in there. Just got kind of a crappy brush here. I stored it in some paint thinner overnight because I'd used it the previous day too. get those other boards coated. Yep, get that off of there because otherwise it's not going to want to take the stain. There we go. Just keep smoothing this stuff out. Watch it go on. Alright, so as we continue here, first I'm just getting it on the board, getting it coating every spot here. Not really that important to make smooth, straight, long brush strokes right now because We'll do that at the end. You know, we're just getting it wet. It's looking pretty good. There you can see on the right some of those previous ones that I stained the other night. All right, it's looking pretty good. See how it makes that green pop out. So you can see it. Where's that? On the left there, it's just all faded looking. Yeah, there's that spot again. Looking good. Nice and shiny. It's going to take a couple coats of this all together. Because once it dries, that shininess will dull just a little bit on these fresh boards because it's going to soak in. there. Then in a couple days, I'm going to put these up on a wall. But before that, I'm going to have to put a couple coats on them. Got to rotate them so all sides are sealed. just to do one side otherwise the moisture will come in on the unfinished side and then it's going to cause it to warp and bow and twist okay here we're going with some longer strokes here so watch as we follow the brush down all the way to the end you can see how shiny that stuff's looking compared to the left boards those definitely aren't shiny. That's what these look like before we began. There we go. Smoothing out nice long straight brush strokes here. The boards are looking pretty cool. Got our ramen container that we put our polyurethane in. Just make sure you don't reuse that for eating ramen afterwards. 
John, I might not like that. He'll say, yuck. This ramen tastes funny. 